We're at Chateau Lynch Barge with Jean-Charles Caz. At, at, at harvest time, when, when, when the grapes came in, everything was very healthy, perfect crop. It was, it was a perfect crop. We, uh, in the middle of the summer, we were somehow a little bit uh, worried because of the draft. Uh, but uh, there is always a miracle in Bordeaux that happens either beginning of September or, uh, uh, or late in, uh, in August. And we had a few rains that helped to uh, put back the put on track the maturity process. And at the end, uh, we ended up with uh, uh, grapes which have a, a good level of sugar. They, it will be a, a powerful vintage. Yeah. Um, but also, what is very important, a good acidity. And there is a slightly higher acidity in 2010 yeah. uh, than in 2009. Uh, so overall, the balance is, um, is, um, uh, is good. Yeah. We have a big uh, tannic structure. It won't probably be, be as easy to taste en primeur as the 09 was. Uh, the wines will be a little bit tougher, not as uh, not as pleasing to, to drink as the 09 when we showed it on primeur. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm confident that the, the potential of the vintage is somehow similar to 09. Okay. But it's, with a, a little bit more tannin and a little bit it's, more acidity? It's, it's a little bit more tannins and acidity. It's a, it's a bold vintage yeah. and it's certainly a vintage for the long haul. It's, do you think, um, generally speaking, that, that the tens will live longer than the nines? No, it's, it's difficult to say. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's impossible to say at this point. It's, uh, you would have to look into a crystal ball. <laughs> um, if we could, um, if we could have a, a talk about the markets, how you, how you see the, the global wine market and, and maybe the, uh, the, the UK wine markets place within that. Well, the UK has, has always been a, a very strong market for Bordeaux and especially also for Lynch Barge. Um, in 2009, the UK played a, a major role in the Amplima campaign. Uh, as it often does, but uh, but it was really really uh, uh, really special in uh, last year with uh, the online vintage. Um, I think uh, uh, the UK is often leading the way for the Ampliba campaign, and uh, because of the interactions of uh, the wine merchant in the UK, not only because of the local consumption and, and the, uh, the domestic market. But also because the UK has tight um, over the world, there's a connection in, uh, in Asia and uh, in other places. It's um, it's uh, it's I believe the number one market for uh, for our wine. However, we don't know when we sell a case to the UK if it's going to be drunk in London, in uh, in Sheffield, <laughs> New York, no. or Hong Kong. No, that's, that's right.